In our today's video, we are going to discuss about TCP and UDP, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol and User Datagram Protocol. Hence, TCP and UDP belongs to transport layer of OSI model. We are also going to discuss about this layer too. So guys, please watch this video till the end. Then only your all the doubt and the confusion will be clear. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tech begin. Before starting the differences between TCP and UDP protocol, let's look at how data exactly travel in a network. OSI model stands for Open System Interconnection model, which includes seven layers. Application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and the physical layer. On the internet, every data flows from this layer to reach to the destination. Hence TCP and UDP belongs to transport layer. We are going to discuss about this particular layer. I have made a separate video on all these different layer of OSI model. Link is given in the description section below. You can watch it from there. Now, what is transport layer? Transport layer is the fourth layer of OSI model. It converts packets into a segment and delivers it to a different layer of OSI model. Have you ever wondered why two applications are able to use same interconnection at the same time? That is because what the transport layer provides. It allows multiple applications to use one interconnection simultaneously. Transport layer creates 65,000 ports on per network connection. Different application uses different ports according to their requirement. Even a single application can use multiple ports. Let's take an example. Here an application is using port number 12401 and try to send a message to port number 80. Whenever an application creates a message, it pass on to the presentation layer, session layer and to the transport layer. Transport layer will convert this message into a segment. In segment, the transport layer add the source port number and the destination port number and then pass it to the network layer. Now network layer convert this segment into packets and deliver it to the port number 80. So this is how data travels in a network. TCP and UDP are two different transport layer protocol. Here are the features and the differences between TCP and UDP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. On the other hand, UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. TCP is connection oriented protocol. As for example, you might have noticed in a most popular application WhatsApp. Whenever you send a message to the user, once it successfully get delivered, you will get a double tick sign. Am I right? Which indicates that the message has been successfully reached to the destination. This is what TCP protocol does. On the other hand, UDP is a connection less protocol. Whenever you send a data, it does not confirm whether it has been successfully delivered to the destination or not. TCP protocol sends data in a systematic manner, that is serial wise in a queue. On the other hand, UDP protocol does not send the data in a systematic manner. As for example, while browsing internet, you might have noticed the web page loads in a systematic manner how it is designed. This is because of TCP protocol. On the other hand, just imagine if the website is using a UDP protocol. On that case, the content of the web page may load here and there and it will be very difficult to read. The size of the TCP header is 20 bytes. On the other hand, the size of the UDP header is 8 bytes. 
TCP do error checking and error recovery. Whenever data is sent using a TCP protocol, this protocol is going to do a error checking. If it finds any error, it will send the data back to the source PC and the data will retransmit to the TCP. Once everything is all right, TCP protocol pass this data to the destination. On the other hand, UDP protocol does error checking, but there is no option for error recovery. It means whenever data is sent using a UDP protocol, this protocol is going to do error checking. But if it finds any error on the data, it will simply drop it. So this is one of the disadvantage of UDP. The speed of TCP is slower than UDP. On the other hand, the speed of UDP is definitely faster than TCP. TCP uses protocols such as HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, Telnet, etc. On the other hand, UDP uses protocols such as DNS, DHCP, TFTP, SNMP, RIP, etc. TCP is used while sending files, mails, viewing web page, viewing online videos, etc. On the other hand, UDP are basically used while playing online games and video calling. Because on this scenario, if you lose some packets, it is not going to affect your work. So guys, this is all about the differences between TCP and UDP protocol. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video then give this video a big thumbs up. If you are having any question or doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And here is a small test for you guys. Just answer this question in the comment section below and let's see whether you are able to pass the test or not. So guys, the question is TCP and UDP works under which layer of OSI model? Question number two is which protocol send the data in a systematic manner, TCP or UDP? Answer this question in the comment section below. And for more interesting tech videos like this, please hit the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.